G'day Bill as well, this battery just died today. Came with our, um, one of our tractors and we bought it so many years ago and it's finally died. I think it's a 2004 model battery. It's an Exide heavy duty high performance 4x4 which is a light truck battery. Although the label's fallen off it. It's a seven, 700 cold cranking amp. Yeah, it's had a bit of a dirty, been in a very dirty environment. Dirt's been packed up in here. As a battery sweats, it forms a track from this post through here to the negative post. So that's one of the reasons why it would have went flat. So I'm going to give this thing a good clean. I usually use this degrees, so that usually gets the, um, most of the nastiness off it. Good scrub with a broom in the garden hose will clean this up nicely. Then I'm going to um, sit this on overnight in the charger, desulfate it. Might um, get a couple months, get a, uh, not a two or three months out of it. So yeah, let's get this out and give it a good clean. Alright, we always have scrub this stuff in with its own broom and it's doing a pretty good job at cleaning it. Let's turn this big garden hose on and give it a clean. That's better. Wash the cup off the broom. Alright. Let this thing sit to dry for a bit and I'll put the diesel photo in charge on it, let it sit overnight and yeah, come back tomorrow and see how it went. Might as give it a test in the multimeter just to show you just how flat this thing actually is. Alright, viewers, I'm going to do a um, voltage check on this battery. I bet it's pretty darn dead. Ooh, 1.2 volts. Holy hell, this battery is completely dead, alright. That's a flat battery. 1.2 volts is to a very, very, very crude amp measurement. Ooh, that's totally dead. Okay, oh. Any resistance. That's almost like this is open circuit. Mm. That's not good. Okay, continuity. That's not good at all. I'm just going to put a diesel photo on it and just see what happens. Oh, uh, viewers, I've got the um, diesel photo hooked up. Cords are plenty long enough. Power on. Ooh, that's definitely again, that red light means the battery is completely dead or below 12 volts. Green light's not on, so it's not desulfating. That's under no load. So the green light has to be on for it to desulfate. Gotta try and get a good connection. See if it stores any voltage. Yeah, it does. The red light stays on, so hopefully this will give the battery a second chance. All right, let's see how that goes. Okay, it was a spinner. About an hour and a half, and it's on the green light. So that means I well, didn't test it with a multimeter, and it measured 10.8 volts. So over the threshold for this to start doing its job properly. So yeah, that's good. Hopefully it's going to um, get better from there. Okay, we also found this um, bloody drill chuck. 1 to 13 millimeter. Some Chinese manufacturer. I just cannot get this thing to turn. It gets to half and it locks up completely. So I've just started smashing at it with a hammer. And it worked. And it started locking up again. So I've pushed this assembly out and it exposed the inner drive gear and a couple of teeth fell out so that'll explain why it only goes halfway and jams up so I'm going to pull this thing apart sit it on there I get the hammer I just start thinking, bashing the crap out of it I think I need a bigger hammer Over yours, well, where's my hammer? Whoa! Let's 
see, uh, see how it works here. Eh? I might have to um, wind this back a bit so there's a half here. I might not um, come all the way out now because these could be blocking it. There you go. There's the slugs that drive out with this bit. And they're supposed to lock onto here and that's what um, adjusts them to the grab under your jaw bit. As you can see, half the bloody teeth are missing. Just really crap quality metal. Just before I can get this sort of way out. There you go. Falls out in pieces. And that's the third gear that actually drives on to here via the middle. So that. Let's see here. If I get like, stuck in the hammer here. I'll get that of the hammer. Yeah, lots of metal filings in there. They sit in there like that. And they're supposed to somehow lock onto the outside keyway. So they turn and screw these in and out from the middle here. So if I can get those out. So you can sort of see how one of these works. It's the first time I've looked in one of these. As you can see, the teeth are half messing on this. It's very crap quality shit. Can't get much crappier than the Chinese jewel chuck, that's for sure. See if I can get those out, but I might have damaged it by squashing the uh, metal here when I smashed it with the hammer, so... I did do it earlier in the video and just started hitting it to try and loosen it all up. But yeah, they're probably not going to come out now. Oh, I think they got to come out one at a time. That'll come out, slide out, so I'm not, that's not going to come out because I've already screwed the metal up. But yeah, you can see how these things work. Really isn't much to them. Okay, if you want to go to a quick test of this battery. See if it starts to check to now. It's been a number of hours now, so let's see how it starts. Oh, well, viewers, I just tested it and it started this thing up pretty good, so so far it's okay. According to film it on camera, so it's bloody hot in this shit. So I was trying to put this back on charge on night, get a good proper charge on the diesel freighter, so it should be fine by tomorrow, so it starts in order to fall um, like a healthy brand new battery would be. It's pretty darn good so far, so off to the charger and yeah. Give it a test tomorrow, it should be good, so thanks for watching.